guys, welcome to Cakewall TV. My name is Chef Alemandri and we're here at the Sweet Life with B. Keith Ryder. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good to see you. You always make amazing, delicious oh. cake recipes. Thank oh you my god. Ah, I can smell this already. So what do we have here? Today we have a pumpkin cake uh, with raisins and we're going to be filling it with a uh, coffee buttercream. Nice. Uh, this, uh, it's just about to be fall here in the U.S. and uh, everyone goes crazy for pumpkin spice lattes. So mm -hmm. I thought, let's uh, see if we can make a cake out of that. Fantastic. That's yeah. pumpkin spiced latte. Right. So it's like turned into a cake. Exactly. Because it smells it smells spicy. So have a bit of some cinnamon inside there. Cinnamon and allspice in the cake. Fantastic. Yeah. We'll share that recipe. Great. So let's get started. Ready to go? Okay, mm -hmm. so I've got a board here that I've okay. cut that's just a little smaller than my cake. Okay. And I've uh, coated it with white chocolate to make right. sure that it stays food safe. Okay. Got a little more white chocolate here just to stick my cake down. All right. Melted white chocolate. Okay. That's on the board. <clears throat> when I bake, I use parchment in the bottom of the pan. So okay. please make sure to take the parchment off. Okay. Otherwise, it gets a little chewy. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to Yep. We go right onto our little square here. Great. So this that would represent the latte, right? This is the, la the latte part. Okay. So we're going to put another layer on top. We just keep on tilting the cake. Exactly. So we're going to slide this off of here. Oh, okay. Nice. So you notice <clears throat> my cake is still sitting on the board that I placed it on, but it's also sitting on one of those metal sheets that I had. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. I started just over 20 years ago. Oh. I know, it sounds like forever. Wow. And yet sometimes I still feel like a novice. Hey, <laughs> we have a perfect age. And you got a nice square corner. I got a little ripple in it there, but. Yeah, you keep on doing that, you'll definitely get a you nice, get lovely even squares. Square. Okay, so while the cake is chilling, I've got some modeling chocolate that I made. Okay. Uh, essentially chocolate plus corn syrup or glucose, mm -hmm. and it makes an elastic paste. Nice. And we're going to roll that out because I have a birthday coming up very okay. soon. Okay. I'm making myself a birthday cake. So this oh, is impression? just a, a textured rolly pin. Okay. Or an impression pin. Okay. We're going to just roll right across it, one even sweep to make sure that we don't wind up with stop and stop start marks. And now I'm going to take our gold dust mm -hmm. and just go over the whole sheet. Ooh, makes, nah. makes that pattern <laughs> jump right out at you. Oh my god, that just turned into a golden chocolate shit. Like golden chocolate shit. Just a little roller that comes apart and okay. you can put, you know, move different move size this, yeah, spacers so you can in get there. A nice, uh, like a ribbon or something. Exactly. Like so we're going to make some ribbons. So you so can get just, something even. Exactly. Lots if you don't have something like this, you mm -hmm. can certainly cut with your cut with a, just a regular um, pizza, knife, roller a pizza roller or a knife. I try not to use a knife because that will sometimes drag the material exactly. and stretch it a little bit. Exactly, and probably tear your mat as well. So yeah. you know you don't need that. So I'm going to set that aside, and then it should be about time for us to put fondant on the cake yep, and move to the next step. Great. So you're kneading. I'm kneading fondant at this point. We're using. Delightful chocolate pan fondant mm -hmm. that not only looks good, it tastes good too. It tastes amazing. So I'm making a square. So instead of rolling it round as I normally do for a round cake, in which I'm rolling all directions, I'm only going to roll in two directions. Okay. So that my fondant stays relatively square for me. Okay. So you want to achieve a square for a square cake. Exactly. Pick this up, move it right over here in front of us. Mm -hmm. Using the pin to lift, setting the fondant just beside the cake here, bring it over, roll it gently off the other side. <clears throat> so instead of going for this nice big smooth spot here, mm -hmm. that's easy to smooth, mm -hmm. I'm going to go for the corners where I've got fondant sort of yeah. puddled yeah. up. Yeah. Lay that flat without stretching or pulling, just lay it flat across the corner. These corners like this that's rounded out. Yep. Take one of your smoothers and set it right on the edge. Uh -huh. Take the other smoother and brush up against it. Just sort of pile some fondant up okay. into that corner okay. there. All right. And that gives you a nice clean bottom edge. Okay, so I've got everything trimmed. Uh -huh. 
<clears throat> I've now got a sea sponge, okay. uh, well washed, and in my container I've got some powdered color and that I've added a little alcohol to so it evaporates fairly quickly. Okay. I'm just going to sponge it on. You're like tapping it. Just gently tapping. It's just powdered, powdered colors, right? Just powdered color, the same that you would use if you were making sugar flowers okay. and dusting them. Yeah, like dusting. Dusting colors. Yeah. But that plus the alcohol means it dries fairly quickly. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't move. I'm going to turn the sponge a little as I'm working so I don't get just the same stampy yep. print yep. all over the place. Interesting. So we're going to give the same treatment to the top tier. Okay. And then we'll come back, we'll stack them and uh, make some magic. Fantastic. Okay, so what I've got here is some gum paste that I've just rolled out. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this for this technique because it, it'll firm up a little bit or quicker okay. and, and get, get, get more firm. Okay. And if you know you're going to do some of these cakes in the future, you can do a bunch of these things in advance. Let them dry, keep them, them on the shelf. Yeah. The way you go. So this is an octagon cutter. Okay. Uh, it comes with a set that I got years and years ago. Right. I'm going to do a little painting on that. You're gonna need some lemon extract. A little lemon extract. Yep, with some gold color. With the gold color, yeah. You can also use the alcohol that I was using earlier. Yep. Either one works. I'm just gonna go right along the edge. People always ask me who makes my birthday cake. I guess I do. You just make your birthday cake. Thank you. We'll just grab these guys one at a time. They're a little bit firmed up. That's perfect. Wrap it around our finger. Careful Ooh. not to break them. Pinch them at the end. Mm -hmm. Fold that end in. Mm -hmm. And just keep it a nice shape here. Set it on its side. We'll just do that to all of them. Okay. That gold is everything. And I love the contrast of the brown chocolate behind it. Yep. When you put it all together, I think it makes a really stunning mm -hmm. bottle. Perfect. All right, so, got us a board. My little trick to make sure that things don't move around, I use heavy duty double stick carpet tape. Okay. So I'll stick my cake down. The cake is sitting on a board of its own, so we don't okay. have to worry about the fact that it's would be touching the cake because mm -hmm. this is touching the board. Mm -hmm. But it makes things just sit perfectly still on the board. You don't have to worry about sliding around. So that's duct tape? It's uh, it's carpet tape. It's oh, okay. sticking on both sides. Oh, yeah. all right. And it's... Uh, Ooh, just heavy duty. Okay. Right! Cake all is right. ready, now it's time cake to... Cake is ready, it's time to put it all together. Put it all together, so stuck sure it. I I'm gonna put this on a little bit lopsided. Ooh. Okay, cool. Because, you know, it's a birthday package, it wouldn't necessarily be perfectly straight. I love the, te soft. All the textures happening. I love the textures happening, you know, it's like, you know, just gonna gives it nice. even that up just a little bit. We've got another tier to go on top. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use some of our, excuse me, lovely straws. Mm -hmm. Melted chocolate just to stick the ne next cake down. Okay. Turn cake. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> and now, let's put our bow together up on top over here. Mm -hmm. so, Alright, so we've got a melted chocolate. It's gonna be our glue. I'm gonna take generally two at a time, dip them in the chocolate. Ooh. And I'll just put them right across from each other. Now I know that's gonna look beautiful. They're softening on me again. They should be standing up by themselves, but again, it's all warm and humid in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so why don't we take a break? We'll get these standing up, okay. set, and firm. I'm going to keep building this. I do six on the bottom, All right. six more. Mm -hmm. That leaves me a hole. I fill in with a couple, and then we have a bow. Fantastic. Okay. 
So right, yeah. cake's so, done. Cake is done. We got our we got it cooled off a little bit, so we were able to finish the bow. Just added more loops until we made a bow shape. Mm -hmm. Had some longer pieces of ribbon. We wrapped them on the lower present, and we added our tag. Beautiful. Now we have a birthday present. I think now it's time to eat cake. I think so. Great. Let's pair with some tea. How about some green tea, peach? That sounds fabulous. Fantastic. Let's eat cake. Let's eat cake. Let's eat cake <laughs> and drink tea. <laughs> Great. Okay, so before we start singing happy birthday, <laughs> we're gonna make some tea. I'm gonna make you some green tea and peach. Fantastic. And uh, this is of course one of our best infusions we have down there. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Green tea and peach are mm -hmm. a marvelous combination. Yeah, it's a great combination. People love green tea because at the end of the day, you know, they say it, uh, you know, keeps you, probably gives, keep... right. <laughs> It's full of good stuff. Full of good stuff. Very good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's amazing, so I'm just gonna brew it. And you know, the peach is just incredible. It just gives you beautiful flavor. Oh, what happens so is that the green tea will just flavor a little bit of some, you know, another fruit like raspberry, peach, lime, you know. Just get a lovely combination and then, you know, just make it taste delicious. Oh yeah, and green tea goes with Too simple. So that looks like a really rich cake. It is. It's one of my favorites. Great. So let's dig in and figure out the combination. Yes. Great. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's nice. That really works mm. well. That's crazy. You know, who thought that coffee? would go with a reed pumpkin I, spice cake. I would never <gasps> have done it if it weren't like wow. such a trend. Wow. It's a great combination. Okay, so this is now one of my standard combinations. Oh, definitely. This is amazing. This is uh, this is good stuff, guys. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Fantastic. I love this. Pretty really good to go with. Let's pair with some tea. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Keith. My pleasure. It Thank was you for having amazing. me. Amazing. Of course, I have a hamper for you. Wonderful. I have some Thank critical you. goodies happening in there. Wonderful. Thank you. Lots of infusions Including and all. Some green yeah, tea. Yeah, green tea, orange. We have peach for you down there. And then we have Dynamite. sweet peppermint as well. Wonderful. Thank Detox. You. you go have some fun. I will do that. Thank <laughs> you. All right, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And you know what? Cake is amazing, and this cake was delicious. We're gonna have the recipe down below. Stay blessed. <laughs>